This is the techno festival of the year in the United States period. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am super excited to be covering a new festival that I haven't really talked about at all on my channel, which is Movement Detroit. This is a proper techno event with some amazing house music artists as well. It all happens in the birthplace of techno in Detroit in May. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full festival guide. So we're going to talk about festival facts, location, a little bit about tickets, stages, experience, travel, all that good stuff. And then of course, course we'll dive into the lineup towards the end of the video so if you guys are interested in all that please hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it Alrighty, so let's dive into the festival facts that you guys should know. So again, Movement Detroit takes place in Hart Plaza, which is an awesome city location. This is a city festival for you guys. It's three days long. Uh, it's over Memorial Day weekend, which is really cool. It's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, so just keep that in mind when you guys are booking travel and tickets. Um, single day passes are available as well as three day passes. We'll get into that in a second, but it's going to be beautiful weather. Absolutely stunning location. It's right like on the river walk there. So if you guys have ever seen videos go check out their trailers and their instagram page but it's a really beautiful city setting super iconic for this genre so you definitely are in for a treat if you guys plan on attending this memorial day weekend quickly i will touch on passes so you guys have ga passes and vip passes available to you whatever is comfortable for your price range um, it goes from one day ga passes starting at 159 plus 36 dollars with fees up to a three-day ga pass which is 306 plus 46 dollars in fees so I honestly feel like GA would probably be a really good way to go for this festival because it is a city festival. You're going to get a lot that you're exposed to. But if you guys want to elevate your passes a little bit more, um, VIP is also available one day or three day. Um, the three, three day pass is $419 plus $49 in fees. And just so you know what is included in your VIP pass, um, you're going to get exclusive perks that obviously would be included that, you know, provide comfort and convenience for you. So you're going to get the VIP entrances, to expedite in getting into the festival. You're gonna have an enhanced VIP bar area, which is really cool, and you get featured premium beverage uh, options available, private air conditioned bathrooms, which we love. That's always a huge uh, plus for me. ADA accessible bathrooms as well. Um, access to VIP only viewing platforms, which is really great if you guys just want extra space. That's always something you can go for. It says thoughtfully designed and furnished areas for ultimate relaxation and lounging vibes. Cute. Wellness, you get complimentary chair massages. As we get older, we need these things, you guys. Complimentary water refill stations, um, discounted phone charger stations, and locker rental options, um, and saving on lodging. So if you guys get a VIP pass, you get access to discounted room reservations because they do have some hotel options available on their site. It's limited availability for those. So again, different options. Three-day GA is 306 plus fees. Three-day VIP is 419 plus fees. So definitely check that out book those passes because this is going to sell out. Um, lockers are available as well in GA if you guys want to get lockers. I've been leaning more towards lockers in recent years just because I carry so much stuff on me, especially for a three-day festival. Grab your locker on Friday, leave stuff overnight so you don't have to keep bringing it in and out of the festival. All right, with that being said, I want to dive into the stages because obviously the music is at the core of this festival, but the stages are really, really interesting and unique and you have six of them overall. So I'm going to go over the description, pop up some photos and videos so you guys can get a feeling of this festival, but it's, it's a really cool vibe. So let's go. Alrighty. So again, as I mentioned, you are like right in the heart of the city here. You've got the water, the river as a backdrop behind you, which is super beautiful. So very scenic stages. So first off, you have the main stage, which is the movement stage. So obviously this is going to be your heavy hitters, your headliners, your main acts, legendary artists. Um, we're going to get into the pioneers of the genre in a little bit, but this is located in the amphitheater, which is really cool. So this is going to be like obviously your, your biggest, you know, crown jewel of a stage. Next up, this one is located amongst the trees, which is a really cool backdrop. And this is a waterfront stage presented by Jars. This is going to have different styles, funk, hip hop, break beats, love that, and ghetto tech all welcome here. So very cool vibe to that stage. Then they have the pyramid stage. This is positioned opposite the waterfront stage alongside the river. Also really beautiful. Um, and this is like a beautiful summer backdrop to that stage. Then you also have the Stargate stage, which is distinctly Detroit. It says lifelong friends, rising talent, and newcomers, which is really, really cool. Um, and then there's an underground stage, which this one sounded incredible, but this is going to give you like true warehouse vibes. 
It's located literally under the main level of the Harp Plaza. So it literally feels like you're in an underground rave warehouse vibes. This is your heavy techno stage. So very fucking cool. So you've got different vibes to everything depending on what you guys want. Um, I did want to mention a couple showcases that are going to be happening this year. So there is Detroit Love, which is going to be um, Carl Cra- Carl Craig's showcase. And that is with Defected Records. It's a collab- collaboration this year, which is really cool. Um, Kevin Saunderson's doing KMS Presents. DJ Minx is doing House Your Life. Masters at Work have a showcase. I'm just going to let you take a second to, to understand what I just said. Again, the legendary acts that play this festival is bonkers. Like you're never going to get stuff like this where the pioneers of the genre mixed with international talent, like mixed with a little bit of house music. Like it's absolutely incredible. So amazing showcases are going to be happening this year, which we love to see. So the stages offer a ton of amazing production. You've got different vibes to all of them. Very, very cool. A lot to explore. Um, The other things I'll mention too. There's obviously, you know, typical things you get at a festival. So you're going to have like awesome food vendors, some art installations, which is really cool. Um, And then there is a whole separate after party situation, which I want to touch on as well. So similar to ARC Music Festival, if any of you guys have done that in the past, I've done ARC twice. They kind of like, they kind of give me similar um, vibes. Obviously, house music is ARC's main thing because that takes place in Chicago. But the afters at ARC are such a huge part of it. And the afters at Movement Detroit are also like their own crazy separate thing celebrating the city like you could just go crazy with all of those throughout the entire weekend so there's 12 hours of parties to you know go crazy at there's two warehouse complexes I'm just pulling up the events here I will link this all down below you've got everything from like Detroit and Defected doing a takeover you've got Medusa doing a takeover we are not alone KMS Records like I mentioned so so much stuff House of E-Funk um tons of pre-parties as well you guys so depending on when you want to get your weekend party started like you have plenty of stuff to do before the festival attend the festival and then plenty of after parties um and I don't think I mentioned this but Saturday and Sunday end at midnight it's 2 p.m to midnight and Monday is 2 p.m to 11 p.m so you do have plenty of time to like go out and dance until your heart is content in the morning um so we love to see that you've got tons of after party options as well so so much music to dive into um and with that being said I I would love to talk about the lineup a little bit with you guys because to be honest one of the major selling points for me when I've like you know learned about movement and always looked at it was the lineup like it's absolutely incredible and obviously in the United States right now techno is having a huge moment um hard techno specifically is popping off right now so I'm not going to dive into every name on here but I will just point out a couple things that stood out to me personally and again there's some legendary acts on here that I think like where else are you going to get that but just a couple that stood out to me. I've talked about her a ton. Azeka. I absolutely love Azeka. She's been thriving in the last few years and has just been absolutely popping off. Barkley Crenshaw is on here, which I'm so excited about. I just saw his tour. I just had him on my podcast. He is way more in like the bass music realm now, but he's doing like funk and hip hop and and bass like all mixed together. So I feel like that will be on the one stage. I could be wrong with the waterfront stage I mentioned that is going to have like funk, hip hop and break beats. Like I guess I could see him fitting into that stage description. Um, the Blessed Madonna is on here. Borderland, which is Juan Atkins and Moritz von Oswald. There's a couple on here that are like absolute legendary pioneers of techno that completely blew my mind like I got a scan in here like you have Kevin Saunderson on here I saw Richie Houghton on here Masters at Work are on here then you've got like DJ Holographic DJ Godfather DJ Minx like all the DJs um incredible like where are you where are you gonna get that uh you've got Boys Noise on here Carl Craig I mentioned was having a stage takeover DJ Tennis back to back uh I think it's GERD I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that Jansen Dom Dalla, my boy, is on here, which is really cool. So it's you got a, a blend of like the old and the new, which is really awesome. Um, Fat Boy Slim, uh, Fatima Hajij, I've mentioned her before. She is like that heavy, heavy driving techno sound. Um, so she was incredible at Beyond Wonderland. Like there's a couple artists who are kind of that like blend between hard dance, hard style, and techno, and she's one of them. Um, then you've got tons of house music too. I mean, you've got Gorgon City on here. So you've got some like really big headliner names that people are going to know and love too. So there's like a little bit of everything. If you're more, you know, on the mainstream side of things or you're just like dipping your toes in, I think I still think there's going to be plenty thing, plenty of things for you. Kevin Saunderson back to back Idris Elba 
goes crazy. That's bonkers. I'm like, I can't even. Hiroko Yamiura um, is amazing. Honey Dijon, Honey Love, All My Ladies. I Hate Models is on here. That's actually one of the names when this was released. I scanned to see if I Hate Models was on here because I also just saw him at Beyond Wonderland and it was literally the, like, I'm going to say top two sets of the weekend. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Indira Paganato is fantastic for techno. Joseph Capriati is on here. Um, Loca Dice, L- my girl LPGOB is on here. Ludacris is on here. I mean, like you got literally everything, which is crazy. Uh, Nicole Mudaber is on here. Patrick Mason. Loving watching him perform live. His ultra set, his dance moves. It's all amazing. Richie Haw and absolutely legendary. Like I mentioned, Sama um, Abdul Hadi. I saw her play at ARC um and ultra ultra before and she's fantastic the saunderson brothers i believe those are the sons of kevin saunderson which is really really cool so they kept it in the family so i feel like this festival overall i don't think i mentioned this gives me like a family vibe as well like i know it's like it's a community festival like i can see so many people from detroit coming out to just celebrate the music and culture um but i see this expanding far more to you know the entire united states and even calling an international um the commun- international community to fly in for this like 100 percent. so i just love that this kind of like gives me a family feel though as well seth troxler is on here it just keeps getting better and better like this is insane uh yeah will clark we love will clark nine times nine i didn't mention going back up to the top so there's something for everyone on this lineup i just had to touch on the blend of absolutely legendary pioneers who founded techno like the founders of techno are on this lineup combined with like people who are just like absolutely popping off in the genre right now like having a moment and doing incredibly well in their career really heavy hitters in here so it's a really nice blend of techno and house music as well so I think you guys are going to love it and like I mentioned the showcases Detroit and Defected are doing one um house your life kms records masters at work like is all on here so uh you guys are gonna have an absolutely incredible time at movement do not forget to go grab your tickets again i will link everything down below if you guys want ga vip whatever you're looking for um as well as all the after parties will be linked down below so uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me questions down below i'm happy to just chat with you in the comments and and talk about it a little bit more but um i think if you are into techno right now i think this is going to be the festival in the united states for that hope you guys enjoyed this video and this breakdown and if you found it helpful i would love it if you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Fall into you.